I did get bullied and there was a few people that would chase me down through the park after school and tease me and call me names and uh, it really got to me and affected me as, as a kid I guess. Um, really pushed me towards underage drinking, smoking since I was like 14, um, all the things that you shouldn't be doing as a 14 year old kid. Um, when you're 14 you kind of don't think well I'm overweight I'm gonna do something about it you right. you go into hiding or you you try and impress the people that are bringing you down by doing silly things right uh, I used to sneak off into the bathrooms and like smoke in front of the older girls because they'd be like you don't smoke and I'd be like yes I do because you're so <laughs> cool all of a sudden yeah <laughs> right. and, like smoking's yeah. the cool thing to do totally but really it's not uh, <laughs> all right I don't know why I was targeted or I guess that's just what you do when you're a 14 year old girl you like to pick on other one other girls that are, they seem more vulnerable than you and they were big girls like big girls. So quite physically girls. threatening. Yes, and yeah. they'd walk around in their added ass swishy pants like, uh, saying, okay. yeah, do you want to fight? And I'd be like, no. No, I don't want to no, fight. I don't want to fight. <laughs> no, please don't hit me. Please. And I'd walk yeah. around and they'd like come behind me and like hit, smack me on the back of their head. So I actually stuff. did get physical. It wasn't just verbal. Yeah, no. Like yeah. it wasn't insanely physical. There were yeah. there were fights at my school almost every afternoon. Really? But like mostly between the boys. Like they'd come to school the next day with black eyes. People oh, wow. would have planks of woods with nails sticking out of them. Wow. They're like there's a fight in the park after school and I'm like I'm going straight. Don't want to be involved at all. Way. Yeah. Yeah. So did I mean as far as the physical side goes you weren't ever hurt too badly? No, no. I mean we got in a bit of girl fights sometimes with sure. pull a bit of hair and Yeah. But so it was mostly verbal? Yeah. Yeah. And I guess, I think verbally as a teenage girl growing up really hits you hard. Sure. And the smallest thing can really like jolt you and jolt yeah. your confidence and that's what happened. Yeah. But um... Do you think it might, the verbal might be in some ways just as bad as the physical? For sure. Yeah. Like because you, then you're like mentally scarred. Sure. And you can't, if you're not a tough teenager if yeah. you don't have a backbone which I didn't really because I hadn't I'd been used to being having had having this cushioned life yeah and then going to this school it was mm. like everything was turned on its head and I was like I didn't realize people were like this what sort of things would they say to you um <laughs> one word which isn't really that harsh but it really got to me they used to call me a man now you can laugh at that and it's, yeah exactly and, you know you can and joke about it and it's not a big I, deal because you are pretty tall I am, I'm about 5'11 and a half. 5'11 and a half, that's not, so, not But short. I'm definitely not a man. No, not a man not, at all. No, 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 no not at all. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> but at the time, being called a man yeah. was obviously pretty hurtful. Oh, it hit me hard. I was like, yeah. I don't, why would you say that? And I guess because mm. I never was a really girly girl to begin with, so yeah. I'd wear like these uber long shorts to school and like right. sneakers and like Bit of a tomboy. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, because I dress, and they they would dress more manly than I would, <laughs> like in their Adidas and Nike track suits and stuff. I'm right. like, what do you, what? Right. Yeah. But then you were called the man, and they yeah. weren't. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you think that's just because that was the kind of people they were? They wanted to pick on the the kind of weaker. Yeah, for girls. sure. Yeah. And I guess that's kind of the only thing they could think of. Sure, sure. <laughs> and in what way did that affect you? I mean, did that? Um. Well, they used to they used to do other things as well. They used to, I had like a discman at school, you know, when we were in were really cool mm. and they used to take it, they like, oh, just, can I just borrow it? Was it well like, before the age of iPods? Oh yeah, well before right. the age of iPods. And it was <laughs> when the, the first yeah. round shaped discman oh, came in, cool. like a Sony one, it was yeah. awesome. It they was were pretty amazing. fancy at the time. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, can I borrow it? And I was too scared to say no. I was like, yeah. And then I went back and they're like, oh, we don't have it anymore. Right. And I found it like behind a toilet in the bathroom. Uh, I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, awesome. So, um, you know, would that... I mean, when you got home, would that kind of still play out in your mind, or was it...? Um, I guess so, and I don't remember ever telling my mum about it. Mm. I think it was just something that I expected to happen, and it wasn't like yeah. I could do anything about it. I was like, well, this is obviously how school goes. Right, and, and did I you ever didn't... tell anyone at the school, like the counsellor or the principal or the teachers or anything like that? Um... Or friends, even? No, because... 
I didn't really have that many close friends to begin with to tell and like they were all the people that teased me I guess we'd, I'd still suck up to them to try and be their friends because you, right. you want to be on their side rather than against sure, them because sure. they were scary and yeah, uh, yeah.